Okey. So pakar dah ada. Ha? Tunduk. Okey. Okey. So kita akan start dengan Izamuddin. Jadi kita serahkan kepada Izamuddin. Izamuddin the floor is yours. Assalamualaikum. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Selamat pagi. Hari ini kita akan saya akan share tentang chest trauma. Chest trauma. Oh. Sekejap ada okay, okay. sikit. Selamat pagi, Assalamualaikum, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Kita akan mulakan dengan Presentation kita pagi ini Itu chest trauma Pemulaan saya Izzam Mudin Akmal bin Said DPP Jabatan Kecemasan Hospital Sengah Buloh Terus kita pada outline kita lah Itu definition, anatomy and physiology Causes of chest trauma Type of chest injury Identify and intimate treatment The primary survey, edited by and looking at the secondary survey lah. Okay, for the introduction, seperti yang kita tahu, traumatic injuries to the chest contribute to 75% of all traumatic deaths lah. Selain itu, terasa injuries range from simple rib fracture to complex life-threatening rapture, rupture of organ. The mechanism of injury causing chest trauma are separated into two categories lah, blunt trauma and penetrating trauma. Nanti kita akan kupaskan tentang blunt trauma and penetrating trauma ni lah. Chest injury are potentially life-threatening because of immediate disturbance of respiratory physiology and hemorrhage and later development of infection, damage lungs and thoracic cage. Seterusnya kepada definition Chest trauma uh, defined as it, it's a form of injury to the chest, including the ribs, heart and lungs, great vessels, trachea and uh, esophagus. Uh, Terus injury is common in uh, the polytrauma patient and can, can pose life threatening problem is not completely identified during the primary survey. Okay, kita teruskan pada uh, anatomi dan history uh, seperti yang kita tahu. Uh, Chest trauma memang bergantung pada kita punya salur perawasan, airway lah melibatkan ogot-ogot uh, taman seperti lung, rib. Okay, the lungs are located in the chest on either side of the heart in the rib cage. 
they are conical in shape with narrow rounded apex at the top and the broad base that rest on the diaphragm. The apex of the lungs extend into the root of the neck, reaching shortly above the level of the sternal and the first rib. Okay, the front or and outer side of the lung face the ribs, which make like indentation on their surface. The bottom of the lungs is smooth and the rest of the different matching its concavity. The middle surface of the lungs faces toward the center of the chest and lies against the heart. Great vessels and the carina where the two main bronchial branch of the off from the base of the trachea. Seterusnya, uh, kita, uh, both lung have a central section called in the helium at the root of the lungs where the blood vessel and airway pass into the lungs. They are also bron bronchial pulmonary limbs nodes on the helium. The lungs are surrounded by the pulmonary pleura. The pleura are the two serous membranes, the outer peripheral pleura lines in the inner wall of the rib cage and the inner visceral pleura directly lines the surface of the lungs. Between the pleura is potential space called the pleural cavity containing pleural fluid. The physiology of respiratory, the inspiratory and expiratory muscle of the rib cage work in the process continuous movement to execute a functional breath. In the pleural cavity, the lungs remain in and inflate state by mechanical coupling of the chest wall and the lungs. Okay, kita continue dengan uh, cause of injury. Seperti yang kita tahu, cause of uh, injury it is a uh, blunt injury and penetrating injury. Cause of a blunt injury, uh, blunt trauma, isolation, deceleration injury, high impact at, like MBA, fall, and a uh, spot. Uh, compression, AP and a transverse, plus injury, occupational injury. Seterusnya, penetrating injury, like high velocity, gunshot, missile fragments, arrow, low, uh, low velocity, like a uh, step wound, and uh, another is a uh, occasional injury. Lah. Okay, type of chest injury, we have a uh, flat chest, pulmonary conditions, cardiac tamponade, hemothorax, pneumothorax, and rib fracture. Lah. Okay, sorry.
Okey, sorry ada line problem sikit tadi. Okey, saya teruskan dengan type of uh, chest injuries. Uh, kita ada uh, flare of chest, uh, pulmonary contusion, cardiac component, hemothorax, uh, pneumothorax dan uh, fracture lah. Okay, seterusnya kita dengan primary spray kita, kita gunakan pneumonic uh, atom FC lah. Immediate life threatening chest injury ni kita ada atom FC, uh, A for airway obstruction. Uh, laryngeal uh, tracheal injury uh, T for tension pneumothorax open pneumothorax massive hemothorax dan flechas and pulmonary contusion and uh, cardiac tamponet lah uh, pathophysiology concern of this uh, chest injury kita boleh tengok uh, sign symptom uh, seperti hypoxia hyperventilation acidosis uh, respiratory metabolic uh, acidosis and acute tissue perfusion lah Sama juga kita take it respiratory distress, hypoxia, tracker depression, abnormal breath sounds, percussion, abnormality, chest wall, other deformity. So, preflamy spray, kita guna ATLS punya ni, atomic, airway obstruction, itu external next deformity or hematoma, crepitus from laryngeal fracture, surgical emphysema, horses voice or gurglings, Complete airway obstruction uh, means uh, silent chest, uh, paradoxal chest movement. Partial airway obstruction, stridor, respiratory distress and uh, sinusis lah. For management, high flow mass, uh, 15 liter, minimum via uh, non uh, mass, airway maneuver and end jump to achieve airway patency, jaw thrust, suction, use popa and epiliphosis to definitely airway lah. Uh, uh, if disrupted airway visible through an open neck wound, secure the distal trachea with uh, forceps and intubate through wound with uh, buji. We'll, we'll need uh, bronchoscopy or uh, trachotomy. Uh, seterusnya, uh, tension and motorak. To recognize the tension recognition is a respiratory distress, uh, tachycardia, hypotension, neck, vein distension, ipsilateral hyper expansion and uh, decreased chest movement, tracheal deviation to contralateral side, uh, tachycardia, uh, hyper resonance, ipsilateral laterally, decreased breath sounds, bedside ultrasound to confirm. Uh, management dia sama uh, pakai hypomas to maintain exposure to target immediate needle uh, thoracosynthesis or finger thoracotomy formal intercostal catheter after needle compression for o uh, open pneumothorax uh, sucking chest wound once a chest wound is third of the diameter of the trachea air enter wounds uh, preferentially Open wound on chest wall, respiratory distress. Tachycardia, decreased chest movement. Hyperresonance, hypersonary decreased press sounds. Hypermas to main exposure to target for the management. Double with explosive three-sided dressing to form a filter above the allow a risk of air through the wound but uh, prevent sucking in. Space formal catheter in separate intercostal space. Need formal expression prior to closing. Uh, untuk uh, massive hemotorak. To recognize tracheostomy indication blood loss more of 1,500 ml or thirds of blood volume of blood loss. Hemogenic shock evident of a tracheal injury. I Ipsilaterally dullness, decreased chest movement, ipsilaterally decreased breath sounds, persistent blood loss flowing intercostal catheter insertion. Hyper, the management uh, sama have a to maintain SPO2 target, treat with rapid restoration of blood volume combined with concurrent drainage of thorax, immediate intercostal catheter, tamponate the bleeding vessel, hemostatic resuscitation, uh, activate MTP, auto transfuser, and uh, tarokotomy. Uh, for the flare chest, uh, flare chest means fracture of 
two or more continuous strips in two more loca location. Segmental fracture of three or more adjacent ribs actually are literally often result in a unstable chest wall physiology. Proximal movement result segment move inward on inspiration of the rest of the chest expand and out in expiration as rest of chest people. But the cell movement may not be applied in PPV applied. Lah. The management, uh, I promise to maintain as per to target. Judith's use of light, fluid, and uh, energy seek, regional anesthesia, intercostal nerve blocks, epidural anesthesia, paravertebral block due to risk of respiratory depression. Uh, respiratory monitoring and support use an IV instead. Internal pneumonic stabilization has been used uh, successfully to treat complicated cases with aid of PPV. Uh, increased age and global injury severity as measured by injury severity score are poor prognosis sign in flare chest. Assistance in patient with flare chest. Early, early intubation and uh, ventilatory assistance in patient with flare chest reduce mortality compared with the daily intubation until the onset of respiratory failure. May benefit from the rib fixation, failure of the energy or failure to win from the mechanical ventilation. Indication for early ventilator support shock, severe head injury, comorbid pulmonary disease, fracture of eight or more ribs, other associated associated injuries age more 65 years old and po2 atm despite supplemental oxygen for the uh, cardiac component more common in treating the uh, thoracic trauma than plant trauma obstructive shock pull peripheries back track muffled heart sounds Hypotension, distension, next veins, past paralysis, drop in SPP, that's 10 on expression. State wound is common cause of a cardiac terpenate. For the management, I feel must to maintain expert to target, mentally respond to fluid challenge, needle pericardial synthesis, pericardiotomy is definite treatment. Uh, Emergency tracheotomy in the event of the cardiac arrest. Okay, but uh, but you go uh, see. Combine needle expression. It is a treatment of a pericardial effusion and or tamponade. Uh, the method is uh, method of uh, insertion. Uh, Subluxate approach long. 18 to 22 G needle attached to strings, do under under ultrasound guide, insertion between zip sternum and poster margin, direct toward left shoulder at 40 degree angle to skin. Continual expression is needle as needle approach. Once a uh, pericardial fluid aspirate can insert inula, cannula into pericardial space. Attach a three-way tap and remove fluid with improvement in hemodynamics. Okay, for the other information, uh, pari pericardial blood doesn't clot. Intercardial blood does uh, blood does clot, and ECG chest lead can be attached to the needle for stimulation of ventricular atopic signal contact with uh, ventricle. The complications. Myocardial, myocardial perfusion, bleeding, pneumothorax, arrhythmia, acute pulmonary edema, acute ventricular dilation. For the secondary survey, a thick axial injury, take on the attic wall due to acceleration and declaration forces result from penetrating or blood injury. Seterusnya, aortic and great vessel injury, uh, look for feature of uh, aortic decision on uh, chest X-ray. 
The management uh, use have flow mask, bianan repetitive uh, mask, avoid excessive fluid resection lah. Uh, Seterusnya so simple pneumothorax, simple pneumothorax, evident of thoracic trauma, hyperresonant, decreased space sounds, acute uh, pneumothorax, and uh, pneumothorax not detect on CSA, however detect on CT. Management management no need chest tube unless it patient requiring. Have flow mask, uh, for the management have flow mask, 50 liter. Small traumatic uh, pneumothorax may only require observation. Significant simple pneumothorax explain if the patient requires intubation due to risk of con conversation to tension pneumothorax. Seterusnya, non darkness back sound can rapidly confirm fluid in pleural space. Esophageal uh, perforation, chest of epidemic pain, desophagia, Hematemesis, neck or chest wound, surgical emphysema, pleural effusion, split on the left side, drainage of contents from intercostal catheter. For the management, uh, haplomas, fluid resuscitation, nasogas on free drainage, broad uh, spectrum antibiotic, and former surgical repair. Terusnya, deframatic uh, injury and uh, either blunt or penetrating throat on the left side, left side dominance is due to the productive deliver and the right hemideferum and the increased weakness of the left uh, the management uh, gold standards of the uh, diagnosis lah, laparoscopy or open exploration. Uh, so, breakout injury. Lactose close the carina associated with severe blunt trauma. Uh, dia punya special management dia, uh, urgent laparoscopy and operative uh, intubation lah. The elite due to the bronchial pleural fistula flowing tube telecostomy is continuous and massive. High frequencies uh, of circulation is the ventilator, ventilator modality of choice to maintain gas exchange and expand the alveoli in the face of the massive gas leak. Take break injury, <clears throat> palmar contusions, lung hemorrhage, and palmar edema leads to impact gas exchange and respiratory uh, in, in suspicious. The punya management special tak ada have flow mask, uh, fluid extension may reduce size of contusion but may not affect uh, outcome lah. Severe cases uh, require, require intubation and mechanical ventilation. Okay, kita terus ke cardiac contusion. Uh, Suspect is a uh, severe blunt trauma with fracture of the sternum, ribs and uh, thoracic uh, vertebrae. Eh? Chest pain, uh, patient with chest pain, unexplained uh, tachycardia, pericardia injury, produce, uh, can produce hernia and cardiac dysfunction. Cardiology consult and admission for cardiac monitoring and echo, echocardia, medical management, PCI stand, CABG for coronary artery injury, cardiac surgery for valvula, dysfunction and penetrating injuries. Emergency thoracotomy in event of cardiac arrest. Okay, for the summary, chest injury are co common in the multiply injury patients. The uh, airway breathing sclerosis ABCDE approach is used to identify life threatening and potentially life threatening injuries. Initial stabilize requires simple maneuver, example endotracheal intubation and tube thoracotomy. The goal of the treating patient with chest injury to establish normal gas exchange and normal hemodynamics. For the reference, use uh, a GLS. Okay, thank you. Ada apa-apa soalan? Uh, sampai sini saja saya serahkan kepada uh, Cik Marang untuk teruskan. Okay, terima kasih buat Izamuddin. Um, jadi sebarang soalan boleh dimasukkan di dalam chat room. 
Untuk semua partisipan juga boleh refer ke blog EDHSGB training. Di situ juga kita ada upload lah video untuk need, uh, finger thoracotomy yang telah dianjurkan oleh tim Maspot. Okey, kemudian kita akan serahkan kepada Ismaniza, staff nurse Ismaniza. Uh, Ismaniza akan terangkan lebih kepada penjagaan pesakit-pesakit yang dengan chest tube. Oh, Okey. Okey. So kita ada Dr. Bashani ya. Okey, silakan Dr. Bashani. Hello, tak pagi semua. Boleh dengar ke? Okay, uh, so uh, a very good presentation. Thank you. Uh, okay, so just to explain balik a bit on the chest injury lah. So as a uh, level bahagian FA, uh, kita punya first and foremost uh, issue ialah kita kena ada early recognition. So we need to be able to recognize all this dekat pre-hospital care. So kita tak perlu sampai uh, chest tube and all that sebab kita jarang buat dekat scene lah. But what is our main concern is bila nak transport patient tu, you dah ada at least rough diagnosis. So kita, uh, the pneumonic sebenarnya kita dah update, dia bukan atom uh, FC, dia adalah atom TC. T adalah tracheal bronchial injury. So a frail chest sekarang, they don't, uh, uh, it's not a very bad life threatening injury. So kita tracheal bronchial injury lagi teruk lah. So the atom TC lah. So on top of that, uh, kita early recognition tu, Uh, you need to be identifying the trachea, you kena tahu macam nak uh, tengok saturation, tengok dia punya air movement, boleh buat percussion, so then you boleh roughly estimate patient ni pneumothorax, hemothorax ke ada uh, apa tu open chest wound. So your first and foremost uh, treatment is always oxygen. So make sure patient di transport dengan high flow oxygen, make sure ada cervical collar, ada pelvic binder, then for the chest injury, tengok chest injury jenis apa. Kalau katakan ada open wound, then maybe you rasa dia nak open pneumothorax, then don't forget to letak yang three-way uh, seal tu lah. Kalau katakan ada massive uh, tu, um, bleeding ke apa-apa, make sure don't forget to compress the bleeding because nanti boleh jadi hemorrhagic shock. Other than that, uh, bila sampai ke hospital, a good passover. Apa yang kita dah buat dekat pre-hospital, apa yang kita uh, suspect macam tu ada, semua ni sangat penting lah. Okay. So, uh, apa tu, ada apa-apa soalan tak pasal presentation tadi? Nak tanya. Semua orang clear ke pasal semua presentation, cara dia punya treatment, uh, macam nak identify. Ya, yeah. yeah. semua information dan semua guideline kita kita sekarang follow ATLS 10th edition lah. So just refresh balik, baca balik, uh, semua gambar aja kat sana, semua algoritm kat sana. Even cardiac arrest, uh, traumatic cardiac arrest pun kita ada algoritm. Patient mana kita akan buat bilateral thoracotomy, patient mana kita akan buat pericardiosynthesis. So semua tu algoritm ada dalam ATLS kita lah. Ada apa-apa lagi soalan? Nak continue? Okay, thanks. Uh, kita continue presentation ya. Yeah? Thank you. Okay, thank you Dr. Bashani atas penerangan yang uh, jelas. Jadi kita boleh teruskan kepada staff nurse Maniza. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Saya Stana Fis Maniza Midi Ismail, Stana Jabatan Kecemasan Hospital Sungai Buloh. Untuk hari ini, saya akan terangkan uh, demonstrate of middle thoracosynthesis and chest tube insertion lah which is uh, akan jadi a bit dry lah for this morning sebab 
prefer demonstrate depan malam physical tapi sebab kita buat zoom tu bit dry lah so untuk ni the prosthesis uh, first kali untuk patient preparation adequate anesthesia takkan patient pada proper positioning untuk anesthesia local anesthesia kita selalunya pakai akan pakai lidocaine lah on dekat the skin so kita ni tissue repairio steam into costal muscle and plus partial pleural lah should all be inflated with local anesthesia which is lidocaine lah so next is patient positioning patient kalau patient alert and cooperate uh, most comfortable patient akan lebih selesa dalam seated position uh, leaning slightly forward resting the head on the arm and hand on a pillow lah letak kadar table dekat depan patient letak pillow and bagi patient rest dekat depan lah uh, kalau patient sedar dan dia selesa dalam seated position untuk yang unstable dan yang tak boleh duduk uh, patient, kita supankan position patient the patient is moved to side of bed the ipsilateral is placed behind the head and towel roll is placed under the contralateral shoulder neck untuk equipment preparation <coughs> Uh, first kali local anesthesia example 10 ml of of 1% lidocaine antiseptic solution with glove thoracosynthesis needle selalunya dekat jabatan kita ataupun dekat PHC lah kita akan pakai 14 ke 16 g needle three way stop coat blue three way wound dressing material dengan seral gown mask and glove lah ini adalah gambaran untuk needle thoracosynthesis secara kasar lah yang kita akan buat dekat PHC dengan dengan dekat uh, clinical lah next adalah chest tube preparation for chest tube adalah proper equipment should be gathered Ha, patient assess to determine the optimal chest tube and size kena confirm balik dengan doktor, medical officer sama ada dia nak size berapa untuk patient tu uh, location of placement kena confirm dengan doktor by chest x-ray, auscultation, palpitation dengan precaution lah next equipment preparation this slow, is it stuck? chest tube drainage device with water seal first Second suction source and tubing, sterile glove, preparatory solution. Contohnya kita akan pakai iodine dengan flavin lah. Sterile drip, local anesthesia, 10 ml of 1% lidocaine. Syringe 10 to 20 ml, each, two in each. Blade, trauma basic set yang selalu kita pakai dekat sini, kita akan pakai trauma basic set lah. Seek on nylon suture, 0 to 1 to 10, eh 1 to 0. Ghost. Large adhesive tape dengan chest tube of appropriate size. <coughs> Ini adalah contoh saiz chest tube. Uh, men kita selalu akan pakai 28 ke 32. Untuk women selalu kita akan pakai 28. Child 12 ke 28. Untuk infant 12 ke 16. Dengan neonat 10 ke 12. Ini adalah gambaran secara awak untuk chest tube. Eh, untuk troka. Ini adalah underwater seal. Gambaran yang Kebaran underwater seal yang selalu ada dekat jabatan kita lah. Care of patient with chest tube. Uh, ni saya pecahkan kepada... <coughs> kepada lima, which is ada patient, penjagaan patient, penjagaan wound, tubing, clamp dengan underwater seal. Untuk patient, uh, kita kita kena tengok dia punya respiratory status lah asketat lung to assess air exchange in the affected lung chest movement untuk conscious patient place patient in follow position untuk wound pula kena tengok pula dia punya ghost adakah is soak dengan blood sebab selalu kadang-kadang kita tak perasan patient Bila perform dressing, check for skin integrity. Sama ada ada redness, swelling dengan loose suture. Kadang-kadang kita tak perasan sama ada patient ada allergic dengan dia punya suture jugalah. So kena 
Noted lah dengan dia punya skin juga. Next untuk penjagaan tubing. Intake and tap. Make sure the tubing intake dengan tap dekat dia punya dia punya skin lah. Maintain the potency. Check for obstruction. Sebabnya kalau obstruction dia akan lead ke tension pneumothorax pula. Then patient on how to take care of the tubing. Teach patient on how to take care of the tubing. Place pillow between patient and tubing. Uh, supaya nanti kalau patient tidur, nanti dia tak tertidur di atas tubing tempat dia punya wound tu. Uh, call the tube. Kalau nak patient nak kena nak pergi, pergi ke toilet ke apa semua. So dia tak, dia punya tube tu tak. Dia tak heret lah tube tu. And then avoid dependent loop. Sebab dependent loop ni pun boleh buat tension pneumothorax juga. Kalau ada dependent loop kena bagi dia punya darah tu mengalir masuk ke dalam chest drain tu. Instruct patient to cough if tube block. And then milking and stripping of the tube when block. <coughs> Ni contoh uh, dependent loop akan dekat atas ni supaya dia tak supaya tak ada dependent loop which is akan lead pada tension pneumothorax balik. Contoh dependent loop juga. So next adalah penjagaan lab. Untuk claim use rubber tip dekat besar dia kalau dia test tube dia tak ada bagi yang rubber tip ni. So kita kena pakai, kita punya clamp tu lah dekat bedsheet. Clamp at the bedside, clamping hanya during transfer. Tak boleh lebih daripada satu minit and open the doctor order. Clamping will accumulate in pleural cavity since the air has no means of escape. This can rapidly lend to tension pneumothorax. <coughs> For penjagaan underwater seal, ada tiga prinsip untuk penjagaan underwater seal which satu gravity, water seal dengan suction. Enhance flow of high low, enhance flow from high to low. Kita tak nak dia punya underwater seal tu berada di atas daripada paras dada. Sebab dia akan lead to tension pneumothorax juga. Place below patient chest wall. This is what we call gravity. Fill the, fill with dry water. Selalu kita akan letak dalam 300 cc lah. <coughs> Road must be immersed 2 cm in water. Tak nak terlebih dalam dengan tak nak ke terlalu ke atas. Observe for fluctuating of water level. <coughs> Itu saja daripada saya. Thank you. Ada apa-apa soalan? <coughs> Sebarang soalan boleh di Sebarang soalan di boleh diletakkan di dalam chat room. So penjagaan penjaga 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 Rupanya chest, dia punya underwater seal tu dah terlingkup and then water dah leaking. So make sure, tolong jaga benda tu. Ada lah chest. Waktu kita di landa tsunami. Oh. Okay. Ada penambahan tak dari mana-mana EP ke? <coughs> Sejuk, sejuk. Okey, ada ni, ada tambahan daripada EP. Dr. Afifah, Dr. Bashan ni. Ha? Okay, ada ada soalan daripada Encik Mahathir. Macam mana nak transfer patient dari satu katil ke satu katil? Patient-patient yang ada chest tube. Ada certain kita punya chest tube. Tube ni kan lengkap macam ni kan? Kalau tak ada kan? Okay. Jawab, jawab. Anwit dulu. Buka zoom. 
Ya, ada soalan daripada Boleh buka sempat. Eh? Eh? Nah. Hmm. 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 Jom, sponge shoulder kan? Hmm. 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 Okey ada, okay, ada soalan daripada Encik Mahadir berkaitan dengan claim page eh, berkaitan dengan transfer patient lah. Uh, macam mana nak claim? Uh, selalu kalau dekat certain chest tube ni, dia uh, tubing dia akan diberikan sekali dengan claim yang biru tu untuk certain certain chest tube lah. Tapi untuk dekat jabatan kita, uh, dia tak ada dia punya claim yang biru tu yang yang sekali dengan kita punya chest tube <coughs> So cara dia adalah kita guna sponge holding clamp Kita akan clamp dia punya tubing dulu Kita akan clamp dia punya tubing dulu Letakkan dia punya underwater seal dekat atas katil And then kita transfer Lepas pada tu kita kena buka clamp balik Kita tengok kena suruh fashion batuk dulu sama ada dia punya Uh, dia punya tubing tu block ataupun tak Kalau ada apa-apa isu kena refer balik dengan doktor lah Soalan lain Soalan aman Nak tanya landmark untuk needle compression for tension motorik masih pakai yang lama atau ada landmark baru? Nizam? Saya rasa masih pakai lemak baru. Hmm, Saya teringgal. Dia needle decompression. Dia needle decompression. Needle decompression. Okay, itu pasal. Needle ni kan? Oh, ini dah keluar. Dr. Afifah atau Dr. Umar atau Dr. Umar dan Tazwan. Ya, untuk soalan Amar tu. Dr. Afifah berdua. Sekejap, sekejap. Dengan, dengan mendengar lagi kan? Okey lah. Okey. Uh, soalan Amar tadi tu, kita punya needle representasis, kita guna yang baru lah. So, kita guna dekat uh, dekat sensi triangle. Dia orang dah tahu lah kan? Memang dia cakap. Okay. That is for adult. Tapi untuk child, kita akan still guna yang lama lagi. Which is the second in the cost of space. Okay. That is based on 10, uh, ATLS 10th edition lah yang latest one. Soalan next, siapa tadi? Tazu, how to identify the test tube if malfunction? Uh, how to identify test tube malfunction? Saya bagi presenter lah dulu jawab. Ismaniza, soalan spesial. Untuk identify test tube malfunction ni, kita kena tengok dia punya test tube tu ada part casing getar ada bubble ketak dan minta patient sebatuk kalau tak ada juga tu tanya doktor tadi Okay Ada soalan lain? Okay tak jawapan Isma Suara Isma pelan sangat tadi Oh dia jawab uh, make sure ada fluctuation dekat underwater seal. 
Kalau tak ada juga saya akan cek masuk. Kalau saya tak ada, saya mesti nanti semua. Tapi kalau tak ada juga, saya nak cek lah. Untuk apa-apa next management plan. So another thing is you have to check dia punya uh, dia punya underwater seal tu lah kan ada satu part tu I can't remember what it's called yang you, you all kena buka kalau you tutup tu dia akan create vacuum so dia tak kasak lah okay so you have to see the connection see the apa nama macam Isma cakap tadi fluctuation and then kalau ada nampak uh, clock ke dekat dalam tubing tu you can ask patient to cough untuk remove the clock ataupun you boleh buat mati macam yang Uh, Isma present tadi. Tapi kalau lepas check semua tu dah tak tak nampak uh, anything yang uh, possibly menyebabkan the chest tube uh, malfunction uh, means that uh, memang dia malfunction sebab maybe dah dah displaced ke something like that lah. Yang tu dah tu nak alert the doctor lah. Okay. And then charting lah another thing for you all kan. Charting is very important juga. Biasanya kita akan buat daily lah unless Unless memang doktor ni tak nak tengok by she. Okay. Okay ada satu soalan lagi dari Nur Wahida. Does type of hemo or pneumothorax affect the choosing the size of chest tube or car? Tak. Dia depend pada patient punya gantina. Ataupun patient punya kuat. Hmm. Dr. Fifa ada komen? Adakah patient yang dengan hemotorex mesti menggunakan uh, saiz yang besar? Eh, ada pendapat saya? Okay, uh, Dr. Bashani, so um, Nowadays kita dah tak ada difference the type of chest tube size dengan whether it's hemo or pneumothorax lah. Selanjutnya kita based on patient size, apa yang kita available at the time. But preferably kita guna a larger size untuk hemothorax just sebab kita risau dia akan uh, blood clot lah in, inside and dia akan cause obstruction. So kalau tak ada, tak apa. It's okay. Size kecil atau besar is okay. Pakai je apa yang you comfortable, apa yang suitable for the patient size. Okay. Thank you Dr. Mashani. So, so jawab ya Wahida. Okay, ada lagi soalan ke? Kalau tak ada soalan kita boleh sudahi kita punya CNE pagi ni. Ya. Yeah. Kalau saya tak ada soalan dah kot. Okey, jadi saya uh, berterima kasih kepada presenter hari ini, PPP Izamuddin. Oh, okay, from observation. Ada satu soalan yang terakhir. Eh. Is there any proper way for paramedic to pass over regarding this? Regarding apa ya? Hmm, observation. Pass over pasal apa? Regarding patient trauma and the management has been done from PHT to ED. Okay, apa pass over yang uh, proper untuk dari PHT ke ED? Apa yang kita kena pass over? Faham tak? Hmm. Tadi yang niat kan? Tadi yang niat dulu. Buka video eh. Okay, pass over, uh, proper pass over uh, macam biasa lah. Kita 
kasih tahu patient punya istri patient umum apa mekanisme dia punya komplit of that kalau MBA itu injury patient dengar tak? Okay. Uh, so uh, kita pas apa uh, macam masa kita buat lah kita akan beritahu umur patient, uh, jantina dengan bangsa Lepas kita baru kita ada complete of care jadi uh, mechanism of uh, MBA ataupun apa-apa kecederaan fall ke apa ke daripada ketinggian uh, berapa-berapa kalau fall tu kena MBA apa dengan apa MBA uh, high velocity or not Lepas tu kita bagi tahu apa kan yang abnormal lah uh, ada uh, chest abnormal ke abnormal, uh, abnormal, abnormal ke dan apa yang kita dah uh, buat lah dekat patient uh, So kata sign patient kita uh, bagi tahu juga kata sign patient dengan management lah macam kita dah bagi uh, normal slang ke kita dah buat apa-apa Itu -apa. saya rasa tu je lah pas over yang sebab yang rasanya kita Uh, Manajemen dekat PSC kalau uh, politrauma macam ya uh, terlalu kita akan uh, terus hantar ke ni dan uh, further manajemen kita buat dekat uh, hospital lah. Oh, eh, demo. Ini dia betul. Tapi saya tu, tahu tu kita punya motivation kita betul lah. Uh, kita bagi tahu pasal apa starting dengan umur pasien uh, jantina dengan bangsa lah Hello, so uh, regarding the Passover kita ada pneumonic kan uh, so kita ada pneumonic miss so senang sikit untuk semua orang ingat lah so miss M untuk mechanism of injury I untuk injury sustain uh, S untuk signs and symptom dengan T untuk treatment given so ni you boleh pass through kepada our uh, colleagues kat hospital bila sampai so this senang sikit lah bila kita ingat the mnemonic S untuk signs and symptom dengan T treatment given okay. Okay, tu kalau nak pass over case How about kalau you nak pass over Contohnya shift petang dapat patient trauma dekat chest Chest tube baru je masuk Tiba-tiba dah pukul sembilan setengah You all nak pass over dekat orang malam dah Macam mana korang nak pass over pasal chest tube tu? Anyone? Not necessarily presenter je Haa uh. Orang lain? Partisipan? Bagus soalan-soalan korang ni sebab semua praktikal kan? Ha, tanya lagi tu ada Wahida and the gang? Hmm? Boleh apa? Boleh Nah Wahida Okay, kalau partisipan tak nak jawab, presenter ke, mawar ke, ada nak jawab? Kita besok ni, Dr. Chest tube baru masuk. Hmm. Chest tube baru masuk. Nanti biasanya kan bila bila you all tukar shift ada benda takut ada benda yang tak settle so you have to make sure ada certain things being pass over properly so that orang malam boleh settlekan apa kerja yang tak habis. OBS team nak jawab. Oh, 
BSK ni tengah menjawab ke apa tak? Oh tengah type. Okay, sementara yes, tunggu uh, team observation type, maybe diorang tak ada mic diorang dengan kot desktop ke? Uh, presenter nak jawab soalan ni dulu ke? Soalan observation juga, baguslah orang observation ni. Okay, what is the immediate intervention in case the chest is dislodged? Nak buat apa? Okay, so nak buat apa? Immediate intervention. Immediate intervention. You fully dislodge lah, Ben. Untuk soalan, what is the immediate intervention in case the chest tube is dislodged? Kalau dia macam fully dislodged, kena compress dekat side uh, tebukkan chest tube tu lah. Compress and then check for vital sign, takut patient hypo, hypovolemic. And then inform doctor, check for patient Check for patient GCS jugalah. Hmm, rasanya lah. Itu je lah kita buat. Selebihnya bila. Oh buat three-sided dressing. Yang selebihnya inform doktor untuk X-ray or insert chest code yang baru. Hmm, Izin menjawab soalan. Tuan Dr. Fifa ada penambahan? Chest tube baru dimasukkan di penghujung shift. Apakah perkara-perkara yang nak di pass over? Okay, so basically chest tube dislodge. Baguslah jawapan Ismail tadi. Chest tube dislodge ada dua jenis lah. Satu dislodge dia tu adalah dia tak fluctuating je. So dia dislodge dekat dalam tapi chest tube still inside situ. Yang kedua dislodge dia, the whole chest tube tu dah keluar. Okay. So kalau chest tube tu dislodge dia, dia just not functioning. Dan yang tu biasanya kalau orang doktor, doktor akan try untuk retract balik masuk ke dalam lah. Kalau totally dislodge, then basically you just uh, do white test macam biasa. Uh, and then basically there's nothing you can do about it Melainkan insert chest tube baru lah So just prepare another chest tube set Otherwise kalau patient di set Then maybe you can do a procedure Check dia as open, open chest wound lah kan Just for a while Tapi biasanya kita akan sempat masuk chest tube baru lah Sebab kita in ED already That is the immediate, immediate reaction that you should do lah And then jawapan tu oh, Complete lah saya rasa Pass over regarding chest tube. So location, day and time who inserted chest, size of chest tube. Anchor dekat mana ada tak? Anchor dekat mana? Ah ya, baru tambah. Okay. And then yang penting post chest x-ray. Sometimes nanti tak ingat sebab semua orang dah pass over kat semua orang. Ah, chest x-ray lupa nak buat. Tak ada orang nak review. That is important lah. Okay and then ah uh, biasanya not necessarily baru lepas pasang yang total amount of drainage tu. So that is correct lah. Okay. Any more questions? Dah pukul sembilan dah.
Ha, apa beza pakai chest tube dengan pigtail? Apa beza chest tube dengan pigtail? Saya tanya dulu. Nadia. Hmm. Sebab dia Sebab dia kecil Tunggu jawapan Nadia Okay, kalau tengok logik dia Chest tube dengan pigtail, saiz dia macam mana? Pigtail lagi kecil, betul Haidah jawab ha. So, logik tak kalau pigtail ni kita nak guna Untuk anything that can clot Or any secretion Any thick creep Susah lah sebab the risk of it being blocked So usually pigtail ni is very 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 It is much easier to be inserted And then so bila bila lagi senang nak insert Lagi less risk of infection And then it, uh, pigtail ni bila guna Kalau you all pernah jadi bestion lah Yang dia pernah dimasukkan chest tube Dan pernah dimasukkan pigtail You all akan prefer untuk dapat pigtail As compared to chest tube Sebab pigtail tu is very Uh, is is um, much more comfortable lah for the patient sebab dia kecil kan the, the tube of the chest tube sendiri tu dah tebal and boleh terasa sebenarnya uh, walaupun kita dah masuk kan dia boleh rasa uncomfortable sensation tu so the smaller size is more comfortable for patient lah okay and then biasanya pigtail ni kita akan guna untuk uh, either pneumothorax ataupun just a simple uh, apa nama pleural fluid lah yang bukan thick So macam uh, apa contohnya contohnya ialah ni motorex lah kalau 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 hemotorex no sebab dia boleh clot kat dalam contohnya kalau patient ada pleural effusion biasa je yang memang clear clear secret, clear uh, pleural fluid tu ha, yang tu pun you all boleh guna lah sebenarnya okay. and then it's easier untuk let let the pigtail hanging kalau patient nak pergi Toilet ke, sebab tu it's more comfortable for the patient lah Okay, so if you can use pigtail, yes use pigtail But we have very limited uh, pigtail kat sini <laughs> Sebab it's very expensive lah as compared to chest tube Betul ke Cik Mahathir ke, Irafat ke ada kat sini Okay Ya, Afat dengar Okay, thank you Dr. Afifah dan all the presenter, uh, saya rasa sampai di sini sajalah kita punya sesi CMA pagi ni. Uh, sebarang soalan lagi boleh PM. Okay. Uh, jadi kita akan jumpa lagi dua minggu dengan presenter seterusnya lah. InsyaAllah. Okay. Jadi sekian saja kita punya presentation dan sesi CMA pagi ini. Okay, thank you juga daripada kami. Kita jumpa lagi. Bye-bye.